So we all know choppers are cool. I love choppers. They look cool. But what is a chopper? Is a chopper a bobber? Is a bobber a chopper? These are questions that I had, and so I sent out Kenny Quest correspondents Haley and Maddie to find out directly from the mouths of the bike builders. What is a chopper? So stick around for Willie's Chopper Time Chopper Show, live in Daytona Beach. Take one. Mike Week, how's it going so far? It's going good. It's going good. Awesome. Um, so, is this this would be a chopper? Yeah. Yeah, it is a chopper. Okay. It's definitely a chopper. So, what exactly does that mean to you? Like, what makes a chopper a chopper? As light as fast as you can get it. As light and fast as you can get it. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. So, you've built this basically. What modifications have you put on it so far? It's not a modified bike. I built a frame for it. Oh, you built it? I built it. the whole frame for it. The wow. oil tank, seats around, the braces, fabbed everything on, the exhaust. Um, it's a 96 inch twin cam bike. It's carbureted with a Joe Hunt Magneto on it. Uh, stainless pipes. Uh, built the fork brace, steering stabilizer, uh, aluminum wheels, five speed bike. So it is completely. Awesome. Yeah, it's a ground up bike. Yeah. Super ground up. Oh, that's awesome. Would you suggest a chopper for someone's first bike? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's something about riding them. It's a different kind of thing. You know? Yeah. Is yeah. it kind of like a more? I mean, obviously, it's a more personalized experience because you're. I mean, a, a chopper's not a chopper unless it's been built. I feel like, right? Yeah, or, absolutely. Yeah, They're yeah. hot rods. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're hot rods. What should a chopper build always include? Uh, lightening a bike up, you know, if it's a modified bike, get as light as you can, put as much right. power to it as you can, right. get as fast as you can make it. Yeah, okay. So I know you mentioned it has a Magneto. Yeah. Is that, that's a good thing in your book? Yeah? It is. I mean, it's a newer bike with a Magneto, so it's got a late, later style ignition on it um, and a carburetor, yeah. so it's a modified modified bike. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. We have stickers for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. Have a good Can one. Can we take a picture? Oh, right, right. Oh, go ahead. We won't touch it. We'll just stand no, next to it. Yeah, yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you so much. Trapper interview, scene two, take one. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good! Are you enjoying your bike week so far? Oh yeah, loving it. Awesome, awesome. So this is your bike. Correct. Which is just... Timeless. It's timeless. Thank you. It is absolutely jaw-dropping. So this to me screams epitome of chopper with that stretched out front and yep. everything like that. It's yep. It was fabulous. really, really so called a digger. A digger. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Can you elaborate that a little bit more for us digger riders? Was, digger was uh, a bike that was invented in the 70s by Dave Perowitz who's here, Arlen Ness, and Donnie Smith, Okay. hamsters. And uh, everybody wanted a, a rocket gas tank, they call, and they yeah. wanted sleek, long, and skinny. I love it. And they it. made it digger. Yeah. 
I mean, this is sleek, long, and skinny, and gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, this paint job obviously is a custom paint job. Oh yeah, it's fabulous. Yep. How long have you had this particular bike? I've had it almost two years. Almost two years. It was now? built. It was built for Sturgis for the Buffalo for Jet. For Sturgis. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, do you think a chopper would be a good bike for a new rider or something later down the line? It's all, I mean, when I started riding in the '70s, my first bike was a chopper. That was your first bike. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, I'm I mean. Yeah, yeah so. that's right. A lot of the opposite. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people so say no. That, so oh, yeah. Awesome. You, got, you just got to get... Well, you got to figure back in the 70s, all oh, there really was. Right, you know? right. Those options. So, yeah, so you learn to ride them. Yeah. So. so what should a chopper include? Like, like what, what is a must-have for a chopper? Well, a chopper means you're chopping everything off that you don't need. Right. You don't need directional lights. You don't need brake lights. You don't need... I mean, like my buddy Mark's here, you know, you put a sissy bar on it, you try to... You, you try to more or less you get rid of all the junk. Get rid of all the junk. Yeah, the no extras. front fender. Yeah, yeah. So, all that stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. So you have a front brake on yours. It looks like. So, I've seen some that don't have a front brake. Yeah. I, so what's up with that? I wanted to ride this. Yeah. And my '64 doesn't have a front brake. Doesn't and, have one. No. So and that's a long front end. And, what's the benefit of not having one versus having one? Looks. Looks. That's it. That's oh, all it is. <laughs> You got less less junk on it. Yeah, less, that's right. Because you just had yeah. every, anything you don't need. Get rid I guess of if you have your rear brake, then you have a yeah. brake. I mean, right. You know. Yeah. And, yeah. And well, thank you so so much uh, for really letting us interview you. We have a little sticker. You. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Do you mind if we take some pictures next to no. your bike? Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You're interview scene three take one chopper interview scene three take one so what is a chopper to you uh this uh the chopper to me is something that you just build and design yourself uh you know you use original parts at the same time you're using you know old new stock parts and stuff like that so, you know chopper is just something that's been just gone through chopped up and put back together. Very nice explanation. I, I really that. like Chopped that. Up and put yeah, back I really together. like that. I love that. So, what, do you think a chopper would be a good first bike to start out? Um, for building or for riding? Both. Um, Give me your whole opinion. To build, yeah, because there's, you know, it's all creativity. There's no real design right. in it. There's no limits. Really, yeah. I feel like. And yeah. Uh, to ride, personally, no, unless you built it yourself. Right. Um, if you built it yourself, you know, you know everything about the bike. You know, designing it, stuff like that. But for somebody to just hop on a bobber or a chopper, it's not really, you know, safe, for, I would say. Right. Now, what should a chopper build always include? Um, Springer front end, I gotta say. Springer, Springer. front end? Oh, yeah. What is, explain that a little yeah. bit. Uh, Springer front end. So, this whole front end just rides on these springs right here. Really? It's so a cantilever like... system. Yep. Oh. And what kind of a difference does that make for the build? Like um, I would say the ride between, I mean, it rides a little stiffer with a springer, but the, uh, you know, it looks more old school to me. Very more nice. like it a chopper. It definitely chopper. looks awesome. Do, yeah. do choppers come with ABS? I did no. not know that. No, they do not. No. Okay. Well, it depends on what your chopper you build. Okay. You so you, you can add that if you want to? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Just a whole okay. lot more electronics. Just a whole lot more electronics. Yeah, yeah which makes sense. <laughs> okay, yeah, but yeah, kind of. I guess choppers are a little more old school, right? So ABS is much newer. Yeah, yeah. That kind of makes sense. Oh. Okay, awesome. Aww. And then where is the front brake? That'll be the last question. Where's where the front, front brake? There is no front brake. There's uh, no front brake. <laughs> it just depends on what you're building. You know, uh, the my first bike that I built made sure I had a front brake. Uh, you know, a lot of times you don't trust the back brakes. Uh, with this bike, I trust the back brakes. Trust that may seem like a silly so. question. We're just seeing how everybody responds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much Thank for you your so time. No problem. sticker for All you. All right. Appreciate it. Do you it. mind if we take a couple photos? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. okay. Trapper interview, scene four, take one. So, that is your bike? It is. Okay, so 
How long have you had this bike? How long I've had it for it? Uh, three years. Three years. Well, actually, wow. four years. I had a big, massive motorcycle wreck in the middle. I got it for. I bought a bike for a donor bike, and then I, I had a bad wreck. And then uh, I, after I got done with the wreck, uh, I got all healed up, and then I continued to build the bike despite everyone telling me you're gonna build a bike with no front brake and, and a rigid. You're gonna still ride it like that, and so that's where it all happened. So yeah. you're, you you take the front brake off yours. I've seen. Well, in this case, this bike doesn't really need it. Um, it's got, I upgraded the rear brakes so that it uh, had okay. more power so it to make it happen. And on these kind of bikes, you have to kind of ride a little different than you would on, like, you know, a bike that is like a, a stock bike or That's or honestly, else. it's kind of comforting to hear that you enhance the rear brake because I keep seeing, you know, ones without the front brake. And as a new rider, I'm like, why? Well, you have you to that? be kind of on it and you have to plan right. for like the brake. fact that the brake's not going to stop you really. Right. You're just skid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And really, uh, the front brake I've had, a, the wreck I, I've had before, it didn't mean that I didn't stop. I just skidded through. Just skidded through. Right. Yeah. So, you, you, you makes you a better rider by riding without a front brake because you can plan ahead and you have to be, right. when you ride a rigid bike, you have to pretty much know that ahead of time. Yeah, you're kind of that forced you have to, to like be in really the in the zone on it yeah. all the time. Yeah. Especially down sense. here in Portland. I live in Montana and we have like wide open roads right, and no right. traffic and no but anything. Here, and so here, we have the here it's the like, I4. it's yeah. chaos, it's right? Chaos. So all the time it's like exactly. a fast paced video game that you can die in. Yes. Right? <laughs> right? Well, that kind of leads me to, would a chopper be a good first bike in your opinion? Um, if I would have started with this bike, 20 years ago, I wish I would have, but I, I like started with other bikes and it kind of worked my way into this. That's an interesting take on it because recently we've just been hearing either mostly no and then some yes, but for you to say, I wish I may have, you know, I wish that maybe I started on this one. Right, but I learned a lot in not doing it that way. Right. Like I started out with normal stock bikes right, and I would right. like bring them home, take everything off, didn't make it go fast and stop. Yes. And then that was kind of like my version. But my dad passed away of leukemia and so this bike's name is Captain Jack. And it's white because he was a Navy captain. Yeah. And so I always wanted to do a white bike and all everybody was like, don't ever do a white bike, you're going to hate it. And I'm like, I'm doing a white bike. Yes. This is my dad, Miss Captain Stars on the gas tank I cap. I love it. So it's, uh, the it's C beautiful. in the, the back fender has a mural or a little vintage. So it's a white C and a white J. It's, it's like in reversed. So if you look at the back fender, you won't see it, but there's a white C and a J that kind of, that's for Captain Jack. Thank you for that. And his, his star, his star, my mom gave me his star to put on the, on the gas cap and it kind of, so every time I ride, I'm like, yes. me, and, me and my dad are ricking down the road, That's you know. Amazing. And, and I ride it every day, it's my daily driver. That just gave me goosebumps. A little oh. bit of those it it is, goosebumps. is good, you know, yeah. and it makes me feel good too. Cause, I love it. Yeah, and I wanted a reliable bike, cause so I did an Evo motor instead of like a shovel or something older yeah. where I had to work. I wanted to be able to just, Ride and ride and ride, ride and, and go. Not have and, yeah. the limitations of having repairs and all a lot. Absolutely. But it seems to have worked Absolutely. out so far. Absolutely. It's been running like this for a solid year now, and probably 15,000, 20 miles a mile. Wow. wow. You, you really have a spectacular bike. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Super appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for the little sticker here. for yeah, you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Do you mind if we take some photos with oh, your no, bike? Help, help yourself. We won't touch it. We'll oh, just take some photos. To. You can climb on there if you want. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh, have at you. it. It's, no worries. You guys have at it. Fabulous. Thank you so much. We really welcome. appreciate yeah, thanks. it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. interviews that's a wrap well that wraps up the coverage man there's some cool bikes here now we got an idea of what a chopper is maybe i'll build a chopper myself i still have a lot of questions so we'll see you at the next chopper show actually <laughs> action damn it <laughs> Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications. Bye for now.